Hi, my name's Roger Osborne. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through the steps that I took in choosing my new fishing boat. But before we get into that, I just want to give you a quick heads up about rogersfishing.com, Australia's newest online fishing community. Rogers Fishing is packed with a huge, ever-growing resource of step-by-step -step courses, instructional videos, live question and answer sessions with me, and loads more. Whether you're an absolute beginner or have been fishing for decades, there's something for everybody. If you haven't already, hit that like button, subscribe, and let me know in the comments what you think. So let's get into the four key criteria that you need to look at when you're buying a boat. The first question to ask is, what is the purpose for my boat? This seems like a very obvious question, but many people don't take the time to really think it through. You know, when you buy a boat, you spend thousands of dollars, so you want to make sure that you're happy with your purchase and have no regrets. Whether it is for family outings, fishing, or whether it's for towing kids behind your boat on a surfboard or skis, you need to think about your needs. The next question that you need to ask yourself is where will I mainly be using my boat? On still water, like rivers and lakes, or on open water like the ocean? This mainly has to do with hull design, and the most important feature to consider is what's called dead rise. Dead rise is the degree of angle of your hull. A boat with greater dead rise and what's called a deeper V in the shape of the hull slices through the water much more easily and gives you a smooth ride. And boats with a deep V are excellent for open water in the ocean where you're cutting through waves and wind chop. You best have a deep V hull. Whereas opposed to still water, where you don't have waves most of the time, flat bottom boats are great on still water because they're extremely stable. The only thing is a flat bottom boat, which has virtually no dead rise, gives you a bumpy ride when you get wind chop, etc. It just bounces over the top of the chop. But a deep V hull cuts through it beautifully. This boat here has a for an aluminium boat has a great dead rise. And I've chosen this boat because I intend to go out in the ocean. It's actually a pretty good combination between stability and the ability to have a smooth ride. You can't actually get the perfect hull. You just need to choose one that's gonna suit your preferences the best way. I'm really happy with this one because it's got the deep V and it still has really good stability as well. The third thing to consider is what size boat should I get? It's really important to choose the right size boat because as boats get bigger, they're less easy to handle, they're heavier, and that does affect the type of vehicle that you have. Is your car suitable to tow a larger boat? You need to think how many people am I planning to take out in my boat on average? Do I need storage space? Am I intending to go outside in the ocean? You need to think about these things. The fourth important thing to consider is engine size. What size engine do you need for your boat? The things that influence this are the weight of your boat and also the number and weight of your passengers. So how much power do you need? It's a great idea to check out the specifications of the manufacturers of the particular boat that you're buying because they will have recommendations on horsepower. Also you need to consider power versus fuel efficiency because the bigger that engines get, the more fuel that they use. So it's great to get a balance where you've got the power that you want and you're getting the maximum value from fuel efficiency. The reason that I've chosen this boat as my new boat is because my intended use is probably 90% fishing with a little bit of family. Where I'm going to be using it is in, a, in beautiful areas like this on lakes and rivers mainly, but I would like to have the ability to take it offshore in reasonable conditions. As far as the size of the boat, this boat is registered for four people and will comfortably fish two to three people, which just suits me fine. 
And from a power point of view, I've got a 50 horsepower four stroke engine on this boat, which really gets it along at a high speed. It's capable to tow my kids on their surfboards or even on skis and has all the power I need and it's super fuel efficient. So I'm actually wrapped. It's perfect for what I want to do. I hope you found these steps helpful in finding the right boat for you. And remember to check out rogersfishing.com for more instructional content just like this video and so much more. Thanks for watching.